Hello, sharks, and welcome to a special SBAC edition of The Bite. Is it SBAC or SBAC? It's SBAC. Booyah! Hosted by yours truly, Mrs. Harris and Coach D. Okay, your first thing is you're probably wondering what the SBAC is or SBAC. It's, it's like gravy on a biscuit. It's all good. <laughs> We're going to take it to our assistant principal, Mr. Torres, to find out what students know about the SBAC. Hi, I'm Mr. Torres, and I'm about to ask students what their knowledge is about Common Core, SBAC testing, who takes the test. Let's see what kind of interesting answers we get on campus today. Chris, do you know what SBAC is? Uh, no. No. Okay, good answer. It's a test for, isn't it like something to do with your career? No. <laughs> All right, we're having problems finding people know what SBAC is. Oh, I have no clue. You have no, you have no clue. All right. What is SBAC? Do you know what SBAC is? Oh, I have no clue what that is. She has no clue what that is. SBAC. Uh, SBAC. All right, SBAC. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good answer. No, I don't know what that means. Okay. okay. I have no idea. Dang it! And he's taking the test in another month. Oh, that thing from the computers, and we had to go there online. I think it's a Smarter Balance Assessment Consortium. It's the new testing instead of STAR. Very good, very good. Do you know what grade level of students take the SBAC? All? No? No, I don't know who oh. takes it either. Okay, who takes the SBAC test? Students. Do you know what grade level of students? Uh, 11th and 12th. Well, he was close. Seniors? Very close. Juniors. Wow, the juniors. So ninth graders, 10th graders, till you become a junior, you're exempt from taking S back. And then the last one is, what does Common Core mean to you? Um, like harder work. Hard stuff. Oh, it like common sense. Okay. Uh, something about school, I don't really know though. <laughs> Ashton. What is Common Core? Um. <laughs> That's a good answer, Ashton. Good job. It's just switching in how the teachers teach and how we do our work. Common Core is a version of learning that uh, lets students access more of their um, creative part of their minds and like more writing and uh, yeah. Bingo, man. You so we don't know much about the SBAC, but that's okay. We're here to help you and we're gonna give you all the right answers. To make things a little more clear, why don't we go to the man in charge himself, Dr. Lewis. We're gonna go live to Dr. Lewis. He's like butter, just on a roll. Dr. Lewis, can you hear me? Okay, we're having some technical difficulties. Yes. Dr. Lewis. Yes, I oh, can hear you. wait, can we ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead, what do you got? Um, Dr. Lewis, first question. How is this test different than that of previous years? The major reason this test is important, in other years, we've had criterion-based assessments that you take pencil and paper with a Scantron. We are now going to be assessing our students on how you think and how you can apply in what you learned. Dr. Lewis, when is this test and how will it take place? Mrs. Harris, that's a great question. The test will start on April 16th for our juniors and will last four weeks and we'll be pulling students by alphabet out of junior classes to take the exam. The exam will take place in our computer labs and if for some reason you miss a test or have to finish, we'll make sure we have makeup dates available. Is it true that other schools are outperforming us in testing? You know, the, the competition in our district among high schools can be healthy at times. And uh, yes, in past years, there have been schools in our district that have outperformed us academically. This is a baseline year, meaning it's a new test, new environment, new scoring system. So it's time to put the Sharks back on top. Dr. Lewis, Coach D here again. You're as cool as the other side of a pillow. Got some questions for you. What does the word adaptive mean on the test and what kind of questions are gonna be on there? You know, Coach D, I already talked about the different types during the first computer portion. Remember, there are three parts of the exam. The first part is sitting at the computer where you'll have multiple choice, short answer, extended answer, and that will be adaptive. You'll then have a 30 minute lesson that is taught during, to our juniors prior to them going to take the performance task. And remember, a performance task juniors is where you will take the lesson you've learned and apply it to a situation or context to demonstrate your learning uh, in a real life context. That's the performance task. And again, brand new this year. Good luck, juniors. Dr. Lewis, last question before we get out of here. How are these scores going to be read? 
Unlike other years, Mrs. Harris, these scores will come back a lot quicker. Students, you will receive a document that will tell you how you did. Uh, versus other years, you'll have a four-tiered system that when that comes home, we actually have a video that we'll be sending to all of our community to better understand the results. But they will be mailed home and schools will receive a copy. And then you'll have subscores in there showing your strength in areas that as you continue on, make sure you focus and um, work on the areas that you need to grow and continue building on the areas that you're already doing well. Mrs. Harris, Coach D, thanks for taking the time to, to learn a little bit more about what we're gonna take with our SBAC or CASP exam. Students, the thing I want you to take away is this is new, it's different and everything we do is high stakes. But as you go into this, please give us your best effort. But as you get into it and you start to struggle, it's okay. It's the first time we've done it. It's a new exam. You're doing the best that you can do. And uh, the only thing we, we want to work on here is be the best at getting better. And this is step one. We've never done this before. I've never seen a test like this before. Uh, wherever you are in the world and watching the news, this is what we're gonna do at San Diego High School. We are gonna be the best that we can be and show people what we know. And, and we're proud to take the test. I know you're gonna do a great job. Do well, Sharks. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. I think that makes things a lot more clear. I think our Sharks are ready to ace this test. But before you leave, you don't got to go home, but you got to get up on out of here. We have some great test taking tips that you can take home. Now we're going to head to our classrooms to get some test taking tips from our staff. Howdy, Sharks. Here's eight tips from your teachers to help you succeed on the SBAC test. Make sure your child is well rested on test days. Children who are tired are less likely to pay attention in class or to handle the demands of assessments. See that your child dresses comfortably. Students should wear clothes that are comfortable and appropriate for the weather. Make sure your child arrives to school on time prior to 740. Remind your child to listen carefully to the instructions from the teacher and to answer each question carefully. Don't be overly anxious about the test, just get some good rest and do the best you can. Find out which tests you will take and for what purposes. This year, SBAC testing will take place in late April. The tests will include math, language arts, and science. If you feel disappointed after taking a test, reassure that there will be other opportunities to improve and succeed. If other students finish early, still try to stay focused on your assessment. If you wear glasses or have a hearing aid, that you use them for all tests. And also make sure that you receive all accommodations. Remember these eight tips and do your best. Stay classy, Santiago. Okay, Sharks, we want to wish you the best of luck on the test. Do your best and show them why we are the best in the district. Coach D out. Harris out. Boom. 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 Hello, Sharks, and welcome to another edition of... <laughs> Hello, Sharks, and welcome to another... <laughs> it's special, right? Hello Sharks and welcome to an S SBAC. Hello Sharks and welcome to a special edition of the SBAC. Is it SBAC or SBAC? I have the bike. Started over again. You can't start. Hello Sharks and welcome to an SBAC special edition of the. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time? I had this dialed in. I'm sorry guys. All right. Hello Sharks and welcome to a special edition. Why am I afraid to say special? Yeah, we gotta look at the camera. I know, okay, ready? Hold on. I'm sweating bullets, I'm gonna need a towel. Why is this happening? There's only three of us in here and I'm freaking out. Oh gosh. Hello Sharks and welcome to a special edition of the bite. I screwed it up. It was I thought you said I was like, five, we're up. starting. I'm like, are we gonna do this? Are you that bored with the doctor? <laughs> okay, saying, okay right? here we go. Talk for Before we get out of here, you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get up on out of here. We have some important Still tips for life. you. I'll go first. Dang it, I had yeah. it done yeah, right too! I did! Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is just when I, I was ready. 